Coralville. Yeah, we're She's going to not Coralville. overly thrilled. You're moving the whole car, you know that, right? Yep. You could rage like a thousand times on this game. I don't want to play with you. The ticker stopped. Get funky. No, no, Get no. funky. Everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So Matt and I and two of the boys are headed to Coralville, Iowa. Coralville. Three boys. Three boys. Dad, him, me, okay, and one girl. Boys. And one girl. Coralville. Yeah, yeah, we're She's going to Coralville. Really thrilled. No, I have to drive the truck. Grandpa's truck. Back well, you can from, you can drive the U-Haul. No, I'm trailer. not driving the I'm not driving the U-Haul, you guys. Drive the U-Haul. Oh my goodness. And then I wouldn't be riding with Last Mom. time I did a trip like this with Matt, we have to go pick up a U-Haul for his dad. Cuz what he's got one that needs to go out or something yeah. today cuz he works for the U-Haul. After yeah. he retired, that's what he took on as a part-time job. Okay, so he never home? fully it's retired. It's not part-time. No, it's a full-time. Well, originally it was supposed to be part-time and it turned into a full-time job. He's it's been doing it for fair. a while. What? What's never fair? I want my window down in you. Yeah, well, a grandpa's truck kind of makes a noise. Mm -hmm. It does. It, like, vibrates. Anyway, we are headed to Coralville because we need to pick up a truck for his dad. And I have to drive Can we play playground? the truck back. And I'm not a big fan <gasps> of driving places fight? I'm not very familiar with. <gasps> it's easy. It's just off the highway. Thank you. So says he. It is lunch break time, you guys. We are stopping at Dairy Queen, getting ourselves some lunch. Starving. Uh, All right, and for the kids' treat. Uh, what, what's the options? Chocolate cherry butterscotch jelly bar, DQ sandwich, or a kids' cone or a kids' cup with chocolate vanilla twist. Uh, you want a twist cup? You're moving the whole car, you know that, right? Yep. <laughs> I'm too, I'm not strong enough to move the car. So we have made it to Coralville, but I gotta show you if you've never been there or never seen one of these because they're really cool and they don't have them around where we're at. But they actually have like an original looking McDonald's here. Check this out. Like it's made to mimic the original. Yeah, it's got the golden arches on it. Let's see if we can get closer. Isn't that cool? I know it's kind of hard to see because of the trees there. But that's really neat. Isn't that cool? All right, we are here. Look at all these U-Hauls, you guys. We have a ton of U-Hauls here. I'm driving Grandpa's truck back. You're riding with Daddy, aren't you? Yep. And I'm, I'm riding with Mom. Yeah, I guess. Because I take my whole town to walk the town to Pico. What was that? Going back, going to take the clock to Pico. <laughs> Wait, where's your car, Mom? Apparently, he's making up a new language. At the house. What, house? what exactly were you saying? No, it's our grandpa's you all. Right down to Puerto Rico. Oh, right to Puerto Rico. Rico. He's right saying Despacito. I hear it now. <laughs> He's been very into rhyming lately. Sometimes to our own detriment. I hit you with a paper. You know, I don't mind root beer, but when you take a big drink and expect what your pop is, and then it's not. <laughs> Would you like your soda? No, his was colder. I think it's worse when you're thinking you have pop. And then you pick it up and it's like milk or something. That's even worse. Or like orange juice or something. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right, so we are back from our trip. It is crazy busy in Dubuque right now. There is a ton of traffic in downtown Dubuque. I feel like a newscaster right now. There's helicopters. <laughs> There's helicopters flying in the air. We don't know what's going on. Probably some sort of concert or something going on today. Yeah, well, summer's last blast is next week. Oh, already? Yeah. It's hard to believe. It's 
hard to believe I we are coming to the end of summer, you guys. Winona Judd's here. What? That could be tonight. I don't know. Oh, why don't I have tickets? I don't have tickets. Winona Judd's in town. When is Charlie Daniels, too? Or not Charlie Daniels. Charlie Pride. No, Charlie. I thought no, Charlie, Charlie Daniels Pride. was coming, too. I think he already came. Oh, I missed him. Charlie Pride's coming. <gasps> no, that's not who it was. It was David Allen Coe that's coming. That could be this weekend. Yes, so that could be the big, big event. I don't know, but downtown is busy. Cause I'm not a big like, David Allen Co. Like I don't no, really I listen don't, to the music, yeah. but I know the name and I know it's a big, it's like a big name for people to come to, so. Anyway, we are headed home. Matt is gonna go out and work this evening. And then he has his first, his first trip back with Windstar. Yeah, so he's gonna be I'm driving excited. Upper Iowa. I'll be driving. You missed upper. it, didn't you? I did. I missed. I missed. This is gonna sound funny. I missed my girls that I drive for Upper Iowa. Oh yeah, <laughs> he always had fun taking all the college kids, you guys. Yeah, and uh, it sounds like next weekend I'll be taking college kids to go jump at the trampoline park. Yeah, in Dubuque, and then they're gonna yeah. go to Catfish Charlie's, which my dad is a chef at Catfish Charlie's. But yeah, if you didn't know my dad Pat. It's not like I will be driving in Dubuque because I actually got to go to the college, the university, and pick them up and then come back. So it's like leaving Dubuque, come back to Dubuque, leave Dubuque, then come back to Dubuque. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we'll get to hang out. Yeah, while they're doing While they're in town. To so that'll be nice because he's here at home. So yeah. Busy, busy day though, you guys. It's been nice though. We get to spend the day together. Well, we get to spend the early part of the day together and then of course, I do not like highway driving, just so everybody knows, especially on Interstate 80. It is not my favorite thing to do. And I was on Interstate 80, and of course, it was crazy driving. Somebody tried to take out the side of Matt's dad's truck, and I'm like, really? T's gonna throw a fit because I'm not gonna be home to cook supper tonight. So yeah. it's like, frozen she likes pizzas, daddy's cooking. So she's gonna be like, Hey, now wait a minute. Okay, so he makes it sound like I can't cook. I just didn't have anything planned for dinner. I'm a planned dinner person. Matt is like, I can just throw it. Do it on the fly. So I do not do dinner on the fly very often. Yeah. All right, we're here. Okay, we're here. so Matt's back at work. But I am on this Hallmark movie kick, and I have been for the last couple of days. And so I don't want to sit down and watch them during the day, which is when they're usually on. But at night, in the evening, I like to sit down and I like to watch a movie. So I've been recording them on the DVR so that I can watch them in the evening. Because they do have some on demand, but not the like really cute romance ones. And I was never a big Hallmark movie person. Like I'd watch them here and there. But I've really sat, really enjoyed sitting down and watching them over the last few days. So yeah, it's my new addiction. I don't know. No, it's not an addiction, but it's like the new thing I like to do in the evening to sit down and watch that. And I think part of it is, is because like none of our regular shows are on right now. So there hasn't been much for T and I to watch in the evening. Um, except for like some ghost adventures and ancient aliens, but it's all rerun stuff we've seen before. So this has been kind of a nice change. I watched one called an old fashioned Thanksgiving last night. And that one's actually on demand on Dish Network. I think Dish Network. There's a direct TV we have, I don't know. Anyway, um, oh, I'm out of breath. Anyway, but I started watching one last night called, or I watched one last night called An Old Fashioned Thanksgiving, and that one is on demand. But it was written by uh, Louisa May Alcott. It's a short story, and they turned it into a movie that she had written, so it was really good. And if you're not familiar with Louisa May Alcott and who she is as a writer, she wrote Little Women and Little Men, so. Now that we're home, like I said, I don't sit down during the day and watch a whole lot of TV unless I'm just kind of taking a laid back day and I'll just do some basic housework. But I've really gotten our household onto a really good routine. So it's very easy to keep this house up. But on a busy day like today, like I didn't get my dishes loaded into the sink this morning like I normally do, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I vacuum our living room every single day because we have dark carpet and so very quickly things can show up on the carpet that just like little fuzz balls and stuff like that. So I like to keep that vacuumed at least once a day and sweep my kitchen floor once a day. And I need to clean up the table a little bit here, but it's not too bad. I mean, overall it's not, and our garbage went out today, so. I had recycling sitting on the counter because my bin was outside and it was full. So I need to pick up a few more recycling bins from the city because you can have an unlimited number of recycling bins, um, and, but they provide you with just one when you first 
move into your home. So I need to go pick a few more up. We're probably gonna need about seven or eight for our family. We do a lot of recycling. Um, and they also have a food recycling program here in town. So like your food scraps, like watermelon rinds, um, grease from your kitchen, uh, I think like um, chicken scraps, stuff like that. There's like all different kinds of things that qualify under it. So I'm gonna look into that and get a food waste bin. We do have a garbage disposal, so I use that a lot. But there's some things that you just can't put in there, like banana peels and stuff like that. So, um, but you can put that kind of stuff in your food recycling bin. So I think we're gonna pick one of those up and see how that works to cut down on even more garbage going into our landfills. And right now I am tackling my list of things that I wanna get done. I'll probably just be getting done my basic maintenance today and that's just making sure things are picked up, a couple loads of laundry and the dishes done. And some sweeping and vacuuming. I won't get a whole lot else of projects done but I do have one box I wanna make sure is unpacked because that's homeschool. And I think the Dubuque schools start this next week but we don't actually start till September 1st. So that's what I'm working on. I'm gonna call my mother now. All right, so this is the first time. Matt has used this thing many times. It's one of those new wave ovens. And my girlfriend Shelby actually gave this to me. She had purchased one for her mother-in-law, but her mother-in-law already had one and then she had one. So she ended up giving me this extra one that they had and Matt loves it. He uses it all the time, but it's the first time that I've actually used it. I'm making the kids chicken wings tonight. So I used some of this. This was Matt's, I had to call Matt and I'm like, um, how do I use this new wave oven? So it's actually really simple to use. And then he uses this, I don't know, Famous Dave's steak and burger seasoning. And he just sprinkles it on the chicken wings and then sprays the, sprays it with like a cooking spray, like Pam or something on the rack. And then just sets those on there and flips them halfway through and That'll be dinner and I'll probably put a second round in because my kids will eat through these and they'll want more. But yeah, such an easy way to make dinner. My mom sent these for the kids. They're strawberry filled crepes and there's six of them in here. And I had them frozen so I just have them on the counter thawing. I'm gonna give them those for like a little dessert tonight. Okay, so the chicken's not quite done but this is dinner tonight baby carrots, they've got ranch here to dip their chicken and their carrots in, and they could have fruit cocktail, peaches, or applesauce. And as you can see, the three youngest are all very different in their fruit choices. Well, how's your dinner, guys? Good? I'm gonna try. That looks good, mine's not ready yet. I'm trying carrot with ranch for the first time. That is really good. Well. <laughs> this game. It's very rageable. Very rageable? Yes. <laughs> what are you playing? Overcooked. Overcooked? Overcooked. You what is could, that? It's a game where you have to cook and you could rage like a thousand times on this game. This is the hardest game I've ever played. I have to show you my little trick that I do with the new wave oven to clean it. I flip the rack the other way and put soap and water in it and let it soak for a little while because I think other Otherwise, I think that the rack is hard to clean and then I'll flip it again and let the feet soak for a little bit before I go ahead and wash it and then I don't have to scrub it. Maybe I don't wanna play with you, but accidentally he said, baby, I don't wanna play with you. <laughs> and then I was like, baby, I don't wanna play with you. I was messing around and I'm like, maybe I don't wanna play with you. And then I'm like, baby, I don't wanna play with you. Oh, Came to visit me tonight. It was me. You? I'm yes, the Grinch Christmas. came. You are. You even have your Christmas. They have Santa Claus on them. Yep. He's getting all geared up. I'm for the actually waiting season. for Halloween. What? Yes. My favorite Halloween. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Messing with her heart monitor. Oh, she's so strange. It's a phone. It is. If you guys didn't know, my mom recently had to go up to the hospital. She has to wear this heart monitor for what, 30 days? Yeah. The kicker stopped. Yes, three times. I don't just told her she's gonna take us to Funky Town. To <laughs> Funky Town. <laughs> funky Town. You gotta ask Zane how she said it. What the heck is I Funky Town? I don't know. 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 To Funky Town. Ireland, what's Funky Town? <laughs> it's where everything gets funky. Do, 
<laughs> get funky. No, no, get no. funky. This is what <laughs> Don't hurt your side. Oh take oh you to Funky Town. Does that hurt? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was worth it. Where's Funky Town at? Funky Town. Um, north. By Santa? North. I mean west. <laughs> <laughs> okay oh. then. It's it's a, it, it's no, it's less because it's going down. <laughs> Look at my mom brought me this, funky you guys. Little smunky, don't be funky. Yeah, you know, monkey. <laughs> what? I was showing them what you brought me. It's like a. It's, it's a, a Chinese. It's a Chinese robe. Yeah, I it's like a lounging robe. It's really it. pretty, you guys. It has a sash and it has like this. The satin stuff on the side is so pretty. Got it given to me, but I have trouble breathing when there's something around my neck, and I didn't like it was up too far. So I thought you'd like it better. I do like it. It's very pretty. Mm -hmm.